Hi, this is Junaid, Neurocritical Care Stroke and Epilepsy Specialist and founder of NeuroCare AI. Look, in the last lecture, we discussed why it is important, virtual care, because there's a paradigm shift going on, period. Either you're going to be part of it, of this digital health revolution, or you're going to be stayed behind by it. So if you're choosing your subspecialty, you have to make sure that you choose it in a way that you understand that telehealth is going to be a major part of healthcare delivery moving forward, period. And there are truly systemic benefits of telehealth that are going to go beyond just doing what we are doing right now. So this is going to be a crucial part of digital health strategy, period. And we do need a digital health strategy. And let me explain why. Look, what we are looking at is a population that is significantly aging. And we're going to see that that aging population is going to be the biggest part of healthcare expenditure. As you can see from this chart, the share of the healthcare expenditure is massively shifted towards older people. That makes sense, right? I mean, and as you can see, that 65 plus age population is the largest contributor of expenditure of healthcare. And as we can see, more and more people getting more and more older as this our baby boomers are retiring, we're going to see that this aging population is going to put more strain on our healthcare system. And we do need a way to actually decrease our cost while providing excellent care for this aging population of ours. And it's not just in the United States. China is going to even have a bigger problem. And we can see that more and more people are aging around the world itself. So we have to make sure that we are providing quality care at a lower cost. Fact number two, especially here in the United States, we're going to see that that when you look at the actual expenditure distribution according to who uses it, interestingly, 5%, only 5% of the population is responsible for around 50%. I mean, over here in the chart, it says 49%. Half of the total healthcare expenditure goes to 5% of the patient. Let me repeat that. If you add $100 and you divide it into two fifties, five people will get the $50 and the rest of the 95 people will get the $50. It is insane that the amount of care expenditure is so high on these patients. And the reason behind it is that they have chronic conditions, which requires repeat admissions into the hospital, which comes up to the next point. We spend a ridiculous amount of money in inpatient settings. If you look at the light green portion of the chart itself, you're going to see that within that light green portion, which is a significant amount of inpatient hospital expenditure, if you move it down into the dark green portion, you're going to see that it is home health. And the minute we have these remote patient monitorings, remote therapeutic monitoring systems, we can effectively decrease this inpatient wor workload significantly and save a bunch load of money for the country, for the system, for the planet, to be honest with you. So again, the last 10 years, the focus was to stop readmissions. Then focus of the next 10 years will be to stop admissions itself. And to do that, to actually practically implement that is going to be, we need remote patient monitoring. There has to be remote patient monitoring that the patients can be monitored at home. The patient's therapeutics can be monitored. It can be adjusted. It can be seen live. There's people, there are systems and platforms, one of which I'm building by the way NeuroCare AI, is to make sure that these admissions itself will decrease and therefore it will bring a significant amount of value. Stay tuned for the next lecture when we're going to discuss personal benefits of telehealth. Thank you so much.